The new challenge tiers are here. Three stars on tier 14 and tier 13 of the Orb Fragment Challenge. If you're ready for some gameplay footage. Oh yeah, you know what to do. Find that like button and let's go smash it. Valley Flyer. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Valley Flying here. I am back. Welcome back to the Valley Flying channel. And yeah, we have the new challenge tiers are here unexpectedly coming today. Uh, I guess some of us were expecting maybe with that uh, little preview that we got of some uh, changes to the challenges that we had saw on Monday. So I guess it's not a total shock that we are seeing these new challenges along with these uh, Emma milestones. But yes, they are here. And uh, I, I got footage of the challenge where you use all the global characters for these ore fragments. Tier 13, tier 14, the three star of each of them. And uh, yeah, I'll show you the team that I use. Hopefully this helps you along with it. A little easier than the, the other one with all the catalysts. And got footage of that. Did not get the three star, but I do have some ideas on that. So a uh, video on that will be out a little later. So check that out. But uh, let's get to the footage, guys. Boom. And this was the team that I used in the tier 13 and the tier 14 challenges. The legendary gal Shuri right there. We have Ultron, Emma Frost, just because she's really good. Sinister, he has the ability to clone. And uh, there are some good choices that we can clone on the enemies in these challenges. And Falcon, the Mr. Speed, giving us speed bar and doing some pretty good damage as well. Uh, let's fast forward. This is a tier 13 battle. Now with this one, all you need to do is kill the enemy operators. They have these targeted above them. There are a few lieutenants that drop. They end up being all the Merc lieutenants. And if you kill all of them, the battle is over. Now you see there's another Merc lieutenant back there. He does not have the targeted. So just make sure to, if you're trying to do this as quick as possible, that you're uh, going after the ones with the arrows. Uh, Ultron with his move. And now it is time to clone. I go after Taskmaster right here. And I do that because of the blinds. And this becomes a problem. Taskmaster on the enemy team does his blind. I forget about it in just a little bit with this Ultron ultimate. But uh, not too much of a problem because I still end up winning the battle. But uh, remember, there's a Taskmaster on the other team. Remember the blinds. There we go. There. Yeah, yeah. There's the mistake. Uh, don't do that, guys. Remember that uh, Taskmaster is applying blinds to your team. Uh, luckily, Falcon is not blinded for his big ultimate, taking a chunk of the enemy health. Still 13 out of 14, only killed one enemy, spreading buffs, Mr. Sinister. And now it is time to choose the enemy. I choose the Merc Riot Guard in the center just because he had the most health. If someone else had more health, I probably would have chosen them. Uh, killing one of the operatives, another one pops up. Uh, one more hit on that one. Now we have one on the field. I think there's two more that pop up throughout the battle. And uh, it's just, just killing them. We'll finish it off. Finishing off Taskmaster there. Probably could have done it with his base and save that special for someone else. And finishing off Killmonger. Oh, Poetic Justice, the legendary Shurik finishing off Killmonger. Those are the last two lieutenants that drop. Uh, so if you just want to do this as quick as possible, thinking in terms like chess, trying to do this as, as little moves as possible, probably could just go after these enemies right here and not even worry about Bullseye, Radgar, and Kingpin. Carnage is blind. We, we don't need to worry about him. All right, so ultimate on that Merc Lieutenant. A little, little bit of a burp would have actually killed him if we had Black Bolt, but uh, probably could have done basic right there. Would have killed that one and surely could have done her basic. That would have been battle over. If that wasn't battle over, that would have been it with the Emma basic. So just prolonging the battle, guys. Just get it done as quick as possible. Unless, unless you just like to play some extra turns right there. Boom, basic from Ultron ends the battle. So that is all you have to do to win this one. Now, the next one is not as quick. It takes a long time, but luckily the enemies don't do that much damage. We're going to tier 14 now using the exact same team. And here we go. Now, it is important that you kill one of these Black Order members, hopefully more than one of these Black Order members, uh, before Proxima drops, because as you see, we have Ebony, Maw, Thanos, Cull, and Corvus Glaive on the field. All we're missing is Proxima. And then we have a, a fully empowered Thanos, a full Black Order team. And 
I don't know. I don't know if you could win it with just this uh, these global characters. So uh, make sure that you take out one of these Black Order members. The kill order that I went with was Ebony Maw first. That's who I want to focus down first. The next Black Order member I want to take out is Call Obsidian. And then it, I think it's a toss up between Thanos and Corvus. I don't think it really matters, but I went with the clone of Ebony Maw in this one. And I think that is the proper choice because th that is Ebony Maw does a lot. He applies the offense down as he just did. He applies the defense ups to your team and just helping with their survivability. And with these high health wheels, as you see, look at all these ticks of these green health bars. There is a lot of them. And Ebony Maw, who is kind of a squishy character, takes a lot of hits, a lot of time to kill him. And there is Falcon with his um, ultimate right there, putting a big dent in the enemies and the other uh, in the tier 13 of this challenge. Uh, in tier 14, just tickling these enemies because of their high health pools. So uh, you're going to want to build up your characters for this challenge. Spring the buffs again is Mr. Sinister. Ultron has his basic available, still working on Ebony Maul there, trying to get everything, trying to get to him before the special of Loki hits. But this high health pool, can we do it, guys? Ebony Maw with his special, taking some turn meter away, taking some health away, which is a good thing. Helping us to focus down Ebony Maw. Boom. Going after Call Obsidian with that taunt. Seeing if we can remove that. Emma, Emma Frost does it. And now we go. Uh, oh, that is a mistake. Should have should have switched back to. Uh, there we go. Now I realize that we should switch back to Ebony Maw. Keep working on him. Defense ups from Shuri is the proper move right there. And oh, we did not get it in time, ladies and gentlemen. Ebony or Loki, he got his. Uh, Special off, throwing everybody's stealth. But luckily, right there, look at Thanos out of stealth. We could actually go after him, but we're working on Loki for some reason. Thanos is probably who we should be going after because we don't want to empower Thanos on the field. That means we have so much to deal with. All right, so Thanos is blind, which is good. But now, more importantly, Ebony Ma is out of stealth, so we can keep working on him, focusing him down, trying to kill him. Once he is down... They lose a lot of protection, guys. And I think it's very tempting to go after Crystal because she can do a little bit of a healing for some Inhumans. Mantis is another very tempting one. But with the threat of a full Black Order team, I think you have to go after Ebony Maw first. Now, got a couple options at this point. You can go after Loki because he's already very low on health from those mistakes that we made earlier. Should have been going after Thanos. But uh, we we go after Call Obsidian. And especially from that hell, uh, that heal that Mantis did, um, yeah, it's, it's good that we are working on Call of Duty. Now that that now thinking, looking back on that, maybe that uh, little bit of targeting on uh, Loki did help, so that uh, any health was not restored to Call if we were trying to focus him down. Couple more hits for Call. He does have that death proof, so we're gonna have to get through that. But it looks like once he that is done. He is done. And this actually becomes a problem with all of these characters on the field. All of these Ultron bots, this extra Ebony Maw, which is a good thing. But later on, we get this uh, Sinister Ultimate going off again. And no, we can't use it because of the extra uh, Ultron bots. So I would suggest maybe using that special of Ultrons once and then not use it again. Uh, that way you get room for the clone of Mr. Sinister. But... Uh, I, I, this one does not seem as hard as the other challenge. Now, we do have footage of the other challenge, like I said. So, uh, stay tuned for that because I do have some thoughts. We came very close to beating the other challenge uh, with the Catalyst. And here we go with uh, Falcon again. Well, Call is down. Thanos is still alive and he is our target. Now, nowhere to go. We could clone it and we could clone this Thanos, but it's not going to do anything. So uh, that is that is where holding off on that Ultron special would have made a difference. So uh, keep on hitting all, uh, Thanos there to try to get him focused down. That way we ensure we're not getting a, a empowered Thanos and a full Black Order team on this. Boom. Almost done. Almost done. And he and even even an unempowered Thanos is still not fun to deal with with that ultimate of his getting all the health back. Another. Time we could use the ultimate of Mr. Sinister getting another clone on the field. But that Ultron bot, fortunate for us, is he does not die. But unfortunate for the clone of Mr. Sinister, also does not die. All right, so we have the ultimate of Emma Frost here. And going after Loki, finishing him off. 
uh, avoiding some of those uh, clones and that stealth that he can throw uh, people into with his special. Uh, off special again. We're getting a lot of speed from Falcon, and that is kind of helping with all of this high health pool of these enemies. Oh, and there is Minerva. As soon as I see her drop, I want to change all focus to her. I don't want her doing her ultimate, taking, draining my health, restoring the health of the enemies. I don't want her draining my health every time she might potentially kill an Ultron bot. Or not her, but the enemies kill an Ultron bot. So change all focus to her. I definitely don't want a reviving character. So trying to kill her before she can really get going. And, say, and luckily, we have enough ways to reduce turn meter with one of those Ultron bots gaining turn meter of our own with Falcon. So a couple different uh, ways we could do it. I wish, and this is the battle that I wish I had more slots on the field than 10. This is one that definitely could use that. All right, Minerva is down. Our number one target is down. Now we're going after uh, Corvus Glaive because he is very low on health. Almost down and Shuri almost kills him. Oh, Falcon snatches him up. We have a yo-yo that just dropped, so that is going to make this battle take even longer with the offense downs that she can apply. Looking to go after Proxima because she is the target. And if we kill Proxima, this battle is over. So focus goes to Proxima. And that is the last one we have on the field, the last operative that we need to kill. Focus fire. Once she is down, they have some healing. They have a way to reduce our health. They have a way to apply disruptive to us, but... They can't stop the entourage, the onslaught, the, the the barrage of death that we have that's raining upon Proxima Midnight here. Down into the yellow. Still has a very, very high health pool, though. Blind, so she can't really do any damage. And hopefully she uses up some of her good uh, abilities while she is in that blind form. Still can't clone anybody. Finally decided to use that special a couple moves ago, though, from uh, Mr. Sinister. Was holding off on that. They're waiting till he gets more buffs, but I never really did. So just use that special. One or two more hits. It looks to be for Proxima Midnight. There's one. How many more? There's two. How many more? One. Oh, there we go. Ebony Maw kills her off. And that is it. Game, set, match, three star of the Orb Fragment Challenge, ladies and gentlemen. All right, guys, so these are the global characters that I ended up using. Beefiest of them all, Mr. Sinister. Three of his skills maxed out. Uh, level three healer. So that helped with the survivability of this team. Plus, he has the skills that we ended up not using that much. But uh, his clone, Ebony Maw, did end up helping a lot. Falcon put a lot into him once I found out that power armor could come... Uh, counter the emma rotters in war actually went back and did uh, two of the t4s i don't know if that's necessary for him i don't, I don't know if they return good value and we have the uh, raider class level one on falcon next character is our legendary gal the legendary shirt she also has the healer iso 8 and the ultimate and passive t4 with her and max at tier 14 emma frost is also max tier 14 level three healer so uh, that that maybe I didn't realize how many healers I had, but maybe that had to do with a lot of the survivability, especially in that final tier where you're having to go through a lot, have the T4s in her special and her ultimate. And last but not least, made a huge difference in this fight. Uh, Ultron maxed out with his T4s, level 75, maxed with the uh, gear tier 14 and a level 3 and this is a striker. And that is the character that I used to beat the Or Fragment Challenge. Let me know what team you ended up using for this challenge in the comments, guys. And I have another video, like I said, on the Catalyst of Change. Didn't end up the three star, but I do. I uh, went through it enough times. I know which characters will work if I end up building them. And uh, you might be surprised on who my favorite uh, fifth is. I think the four are obvious, but the, the fifth might surprise you. So. Check that out. Also, Anti-Venom is coming up and Worldwide Nutrition sponsoring another giveaway, guys. So if you want to potentially win Anti-Venom, uh, make sure you use the link in the description to go to that form so you could uh, get your name in the contest to win, potentially win Anti-Venom. And uh, Mikey from Worldwide Nutrition giving away one Anti-Venom, but... For every $100 that is spent with the link in the description, and that link does get you 25% off, uh, he's giving away another anti-venom. So uh, good luck with that. I know everybody is interested in the symbiotes, and 
probably any of these challenges he is eligible for makes him super easy. Uh, do all that usual stuff, guys. If you like this video, subscribe. Uh, share this with your friends. Uh, click the notification bell and everything else. I stream every weekday morning on Twitch. And hopefully I'll see you there. Give me a hog fist bump before you go. Valley flying out.